Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. It's a beautiful day. Like, amazing outside. Uh, I don't think it's much past 70 maybe. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day for a sale. Can't wait. Uh, real quick. Uh, I bought these guys last auction. Honestly, I really didn't mean to. Uh, I bid a dollar and then apparently bid three dollars or two and then four. I forget, either way, I didn't mean to bid. I got them, they're headed all back. It's five drakes. The guy that uh, sold them said that he got them as hook bills, but they definitely don't have the bill. I got the right body shape, just not the bill. So uh, we're gonna take them to sale. We're gonna see what's going on. There should be a lot of cool stuff there. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, just to fill you guys in, if you're just in case you're new, uh, the sales are once a month. They're here in central Kansas. Uh, I can't give you the exact location, but everything is sold by the piece. So if you see a you know number pop up on the screen that says $2 or $4 or $80, whatever that number is, that is per animal. So if there is a crate with five ducks like I have, and it pops up $3, that's not $3 for all five, that's $3 a piece. Just so you guys know. Uh, the cage does not sell unless it says otherwise. Every once in a while they'll sell something, uh, you know, by the box or by the whole thing, very rarely. But, you know, if, if it is like that, I will put that up. All eggs are by the dozen, all that good stuff. So just want to put that out there before we get going. Just got all my stuff dropped off, all, all my stuff, you know, all five ducks. Got them checked in. I'm gonna go park so I am not in the way of everyone else trying to unload. And we are gonna go ahead and see what all we have to, to look at today. Uh, the, I am already in the fifth row. I got here 11.30 ish, maybe a little bit after. Fifth row, this could be a very big auction or everyone's already showed up and there's not gonna be that much stuff. Uh, either way, time will tell. So, we're gonna do that, go through and see uh, what all the auction has to offer. If I miss some prices, sorry guys, um, <laughs> the longer I'm here, the more people I talk to, and uh, sometimes I just flat out miss what stuff goes for. So, I will do my best though. Okay, here we are, first lot. Good mixed batch of chickens there, look pretty young. I don't know what most of those are, except a bunch of crosses, who knows. Another group, this one looks like it's got a few more. Oh, looks pretty much the same. Got the Rhode Island Red Downs. These seem to be here about every auction. Wish I had space for them. They're pretty cool. A bunch of roosters. Wow. What's up with your head, dude? This is nuts. Right into some German owls. Those are cool. And helmets. I did take a walk through a little bit before I uh, came out and started looking at stuff. This is a three-year-old pair of African geese. Not that I need more, but you know, the price is right. Being this early in the auction, they might go for uh, pretty decent, you never know. We got ourselves, was it a bib call? These cages here will sell. So maybe an Easter egg or a barred rock, uh, maybe a barred cross. I don't know what the rooster is. We got a Pekin male, young boy. A silky, an old English, and a sea bright. What do you bet they're all roosters? I know those two are for sure. Another set of hens. Now, for instance, with these birds here, they will sell choice if you ask them to. So let's say you just want the silky. Uh, that's what, if you see multiple prices pop up, that's because they sold things a couple of times. Um, as in, they sold it first time, you know, maybe someone just wanted the sea right or just the silky. Uh, that's that's why the there's a range of prices. Then we got lion heads. Oh, and there's a buck. And another buck. Then we have a doe. 
and another doe. You are huge. That's a big boy buck. I don't know what breed that is though. Does it say? It does not say, but it's cages for sale. This would be a great cage for me to pick up to use at the auction. Displays really well. You can see really, really easily what's in it, but it's, you know, $50 cage pretty easily. But another buck. Big rabbits tend to sell pretty well. And then we have a doe. And yet another doe. Oh, she looks look like she got some ear mites. No thanks. Flat Copper Marins, 14 months. They typically lay a pretty dark brown egg. It's like a bunch of older hens. Followed by some real young ones. These guys aren't even laying yet. And another set. And another group of black copper marines. Kind of cool birds. They're just not quite my favorite. Uh, let's see, now what I was saying about that cage over there. See this one here? You can't really see what's in it. Like you really have to have to try to get in there. A little bit harder to sell. Sometimes they sell really well though. You know, you never know. Because maybe people really get in there and look. And pull it. There's row one. All right, row two. Got a couple of drakes here. It's like a pecan and an apple yard. Egg cartons. Trio of harlequins. I have a few of these, not very many. I do like the way they look though. Oh no. Adult male guinea pig, okay. Last auction I said something about catch clean cook. So I'm not number 16, we got adult male game pick two. You got on three, with three, got on 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 three, And we're into the bunnies already. There's a lot of rabbits here. Rabbit market has not been great, especially for this size. Normally they're about two to three bucks during the summer. Um, yeah, we'll see what they go for. These are Rexes here. These are both bucks. A white one, a black one, and a Holland lock. Holland lock, sorry, I couldn't pronounce it very well. A lot of people bring water and stuff to make sure their animals are comfortable with how cool it is today. It's super nice. Silver Martin Dwarf, Chocolate Otter Dwarf, Blue Otter Dwarf, and another one. All bucks. And back into pigeons. Hey, dude. I don't even know what those are. Dude, you got a wicked looking hook on your bill. That's cool. All right, guys, tell me, what is that? You can see he's got a bad eye. I'm not interested in this group for sure. It's another set. These rollers here. We got an almond. Is that a silver? I'm not sure. You guys gotta help me out. And a yellow set. A pair of kings. Big utility pigeon. Uh, standard coaches. All right. Looks like a bunch of roosters though. Roosters can sell really well or not so great. Those are kind of the only two options, aren't they? Another set of kings. Got a couple of goats here. We got a little nanny and a little billy. 
with like maybe a Nigerian type or something like that. Doesn't say. And rollers. German beauties. There were some here last time, they sold pretty decent. And then snowy call snowy white cross. Then they call them mallard calls. Okay. I think they mean gray calls, or maybe they're a mallard call cross, I don't know. And another set of kings. Look at all the giant homers. There's some cool colors in there. Look like a bunch of older birds though. Maybe they're younger, I don't know. Hard for me to tell on these. Doesn't, really, doesn't give me a whole lot of information. I'm pretty there. Then we got duck eggs. Chicken eggs. Now we got another. I'm not even sure what that is, dude. You got a huge comb. Looks like Baramas, but I don't see feathered feet on them. Oh. No. Another set of roosters, it looks like. Another mixed lot of hens. Kind of a cool bluish color. Looks like she needs to go through a molt. Big rabbits. We got does. Big white does. A bunch of fryer sized rabbits. All does there. And then a bunch of bucks. Small stuff. Normally this stuff doesn't sell real well this time of year, but you never know. That's a bunch of young stuff. 31. Sometimes on these small chicks, they'll put more of them in a cage, that way they can stay warm. Bunch of white pecans. There's some hens in there, maybe I need to add a couple. I only have one pair. Oh, there's a hen. We'll see. Big white bunny. Another big gray one. Over there. Some more black copper morans. Morans, moran, I'm not sure what to say. Hatched in April of this year. Got a pair of bourbon reds. What's this? A hamster? You never know what you're gonna find here. I do not need a hamster, but for five dollars, <laughs> I never remember the name of these. Maybe these are golden campaign, campaigns, campaigns, whatever they're called. Might be wrong. I don't know. Help me out. Looks like we got some Sussex. I'm not sure. Is that black copper? Buff Orpington. I'm not sure what the blacks are. There's so many black breeds of chickens. It's kind of hard to tell. Got some silkies mixed in with some Polish, maybe? Or crepicores, I'm not sure which. Little dwarf bunnies. Got some serious eyeliner, bud. A rooster and chicks, what's going on there? <laughs> Some good looking pullets here. 18 weeks old in the spring. These are $25 birds all day long. Uh, this time of year, I, I'm gonna guess that they'll go for 12. And then some more of the same. Good looking birds though. Got three different colors of silkies it looks like. Big fluff balls. 
Now silkies are a breed of chicken that lacks the, the barbs on the feathers that locks them together, and so they're just all down. More dwarf bunnies. Empty cage. Some golden lace Polish. Those typically go pretty well. White silkies. And looks like a trio of white crested black Polish. That'd do pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, I am not in Kansas anymore, but uh, in some of the next auction videos, I will show you, you know, the ducks that I got and some other stuff like that. Uh, some things that you didn't see in this one. The guinea pig, I do have the guinea pig. I'll show them to you. I'm not sure. Do I do a catch clean cook? Do I keep them? How mad are people gonna be? It should taste just like a rabbit, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm on the first family vacation that we've had in years, and so I plan on enjoying it. So there's this upload. I'm not sure what the next one will be, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to do my best. So anyway, hope you guys liked it. We'll see you in the next one.